Right, good morning, year one. And today we are going to take a break from our Maths No Problem books. You are working exceptionally hard. So well done, guys. Keep up the hard work. Seeing lots and lots of you using your arrow cards, using your um, multi-link cubes or your bundles of straw if you haven't got multi-link cubes at home, which is really, really good. So keep up the hard work because we're all building towards this concept. Now today we're going to take a break from our no problem books, like I've just said. So we're going to warm up our, get, um, our brains using this game. Now I've put the link to this game on the tapestry post today. So if you want to have a play of this on your own, then you can do. Okay. So um, growing up, so you can select different numbers. Um, I wouldn't go up to 999, but we could go up to 99, 49, 29 or 19. So I think today I'm going to choose numbers to 49. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to have a look at what the number is represented. So let's have a look. How many groups of 10 have we got there? That's right. We've got one group of 10, two groups of 10, three groups of 10, four groups of 10. Should we count those in tens? You ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. And I can represent that with my bundles of straws. I can represent four tens, four groups of ten, and I can represent that with my arrow card. Do I need any ones? No, I don't need any ones. I'm going to put that there are zero ones. There are four tens and there are zero ones. So what I should be able to do now is I should be able to press the number 40. Mrs. Marshall, to step back and watch what happens. Woo! Yay! Woo! Well done. Oh, right. Let's have a look at this number. Okay. Uh, how many groups of 10 have I got and how many ones have I got? I'd like you to pause the video and see if you can have a go at representing this picture in straws or in multi-link cubes. That's right. Well done. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40, it has changed that part of my number, but we don't have no ones, do we? So let's put that number back. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was going to, I can represent this with my eight and I can put that on top of my 40. And I need to represent eight straws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 48 is represented by four tens and eight ones okay so i'm going to press the number 48 which one looks like 48 49 47 48 yes look i've scored two out of two so far i'm doing good i'm doing good i wonder if you play this game what your score might be what your top score might be okay let's have a look at this one Easy peasy, we've got the idea, haven't we? Pause the video, see if you can represent it with your straws or with your multi-link cubes. How many tens, how many ones? That's right, we've got two groups of tens. So I'm going to move some of my um, straws out of the way. I've got two groups of 10, I can count those in tens. I can go 10, 20, so I've got the arrow card number 20. How many ones are there? You're right, there's still eight, isn't there? There's still two, four, six, and eight. So I can keep my eight ones here. So my tens have changed, but my ones haven't changed. So my number is the number 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay, the number 28. I'm going to press on the 28 ball. I've got three out of three. Oh, look at that. That's mm. easy peasy. I don't even need to represent that with straws, but I will. I will just to prove that I understand the concept. So I have got, let's have a look. Now we don't normally do this uh, when we're making just a ones number, but I have got no tens and I have got just one one, okay? So there's no tens, it's just the number one. So we don't actually need that. So we just say, it's the number one. Okay, right, I'm gonna click on the number one. Bingo! Oh, you're good at this. Oh, I'm so good at this. 
Oh, it's we've been doing how many days we've been doing this now? Lots. And Mrs. Marshall and I've been practicing this game just so that we get every single one right. Because I'll give you a clue. It was number twelve. Mrs. Marshall got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, but we're Mrs. Marshall trying very hard with her straws at home, and she's going to practice. And the problem is, is because she was rushing. What happens when you're rushing is you make silly mistakes, isn't it? And she didn't use her straws. She was, I know this one. I know this. She was fighting with me about who was going to press the right ball. She's going, no, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. Press the wrong ball and, oh. Try again. <laughs> Try again, Mrs. Marfin, was the message. Try again. She lost us a point. But yes, we've worked really hard to get our top marks. So you're going to have a go today um, at playing this game. If you have time or you want to do something a little bit different, um, I have got a dice. A lot of you have got some of these at home in your games or um, you can have a go at making one. I can add one to print out for you. Um, you can roll the ball, roll the ball, roll the dice. The number four, that's going to represent the number of tens. Four tens, right, okay, let me see if I can represent four tens. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, four tens, and I represent that with 40. That's four tens. Right, here we go. This is how many ones you're going to have. Ready? Whoop! What number's that? The number five! Five ones. So I'm going to represent five ones. So I'm going to put my five ones here and I'm going to represent it with five. Oh, look, I perfectly picked up the right number. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. 40, four tens and five ones makes 45. So you can have a go. I'm um, using a dice at home, okay? Have fun!